Today I am going to explain a Japanese movie named Remember Member, which has been released on Netflix. The film is interesting, it is a great concept, I hope you will like it, and there is also a post credit scene inside the movie, so don't miss it. In the story's beginning, we are shown a little girl running with her doll during the night. Running away, she hides inside her house. Then suddenly a person comes there with an axe and cuts the girl's body into pieces. When he does this, some splashes of that girl's blood fall on her doll. In the next scene, it is known from the old newspaper that this incident is on August 12, 1947. From that night itself, the game called Body Search started. The girl's spirit used to choose some students every year at midnight on August 12th. Students had to find the body parts and keep them in a coffin. And the person who couldn't was stuck in this body search game forever like a loop. In the present Asuka, an introverted girl having no friends gets ready in the morning and goes to her school. On the way to school, she sees a cat, who dies the next moment after being crushed under a bus. There is a shy boy named Shota in her class who is often bullied by some of the other students of the class. During the lunch break, all the students are having lunch by forming a group. But Asuka doesn't have any friends so she takes her lunch box and goes to the school playground. Only then she sees many bloody hands emerge out of the well. She gets quite shocked, but then the very next moment it disappears. She hears a girl's voice from behind. She wants that Asuka should find her body. But on turning back, no one is there. This is the same girl from the beginning of the story who has now become a spirit. She is now choosing her next victim or says that she is choosing children to play a body search game. When Asuka is at home, receives messages from an unknown number. In which it is written that do you know why red person is red? Because they're soaked in blood. Blood bath if you're captured. So, what will you do? Turn red? After reading these messages, Asuka gets so scared that she throws her mobile on the table and goes to sleep. As soon as 12 at night, Asuka reaches the school church. There are also four other students from her class, Takhiro, Shota, Ri, and Rumiko. There is also a boy named Atsushi who used to study in her class a few years ago. Atsushi dropped out of school a long time ago but still, he ended up here with them. Everyone is wondering how they have suddenly reached the school. Atsushi starts leaving out of there. The very next moment the spirit cuts Atsushi's body into two pieces, and after that, she kills Rumiko as well. Asuka and the rest of the students run away from there and hide in the library. Then the spirit of that blood-soaked girl kills them all in turn. Asuka wakes up in her bedroom the next morning. She thinks she must have had a bad dream last night. Then she leaves for her school after getting ready. On the way, she feels that everything is repeating like the previous day. She is already stuck in a loop. The girl's spirit has chosen her for the body search game. Along with that five students have also been selected. Like the last day, this time also that cat ends up coming under the bus. When she reaches school, it is revealed from Takhiro and the other three students that they too remember everything from the previous night. Shota tells the one that is chosen has to find the victim's hidden, dismembered body parts. The body search starts exactly at midnight. Always run away from the red person. He has done this research online. And until they find all eight pieces of the red person's body and keep them in the coffin, this will keep repeating every day. They are stuck in a murderer time loop which is quite an interesting topic. When they are talking about all these, then the librarian of their school comes there. After listening to their words, he behaves as if he knows the truth. All these students reach back to the school at 12 at the night. They also ask Atsushi to find the body parts along with them. But he refuses to participate in this game. Everyone else starts looking for the body parts. Takhiro turns on the lights in the classroom to find body parts with Asuka. They find a severed hand, but only then does a red person appear. Takhiro distracts her and Asuka runs towards the coffin to keep that hand. After eliminating all the students including Takhiro, red person moves towards Asuka. Until then Asuka has kept that hand in the coffin. The very next moment the red person kills her too. They have to find eight body parts but they collected only one. The next morning everything is like the previous day. But this time Takhiro and Asuka save the cat together. That is, this time they did one thing differently inside this loop. Ri and Rumiko also arrive and are overjoyed. Because a body part was found while doing teamwork last night. Now they become good friends with Asuka. 
Due to this, she is quite happy. Next, we learn from Takhiro and his friends that Atsushi's leg was injured a few years ago while playing basketball, which took a long time to heal. During this, he became so depressed that even after recovering, he either tried to run nor did he join the school again. They come to know through old newspapers that 30 years ago, inside a house near their school, someone cut the body of an eight-year girl named Miko Anayama and threw it on the school campus. The policemen had found the body parts of that girl but they could never find her head. Now they understand that the red person is Miko's spirit. Shota makes a very brilliant plan to confuse the red person. According to him, they will play music loud in the entire school. Due to this, the red person will not be able to find them by their voice. They will be connected to each other on walkie-talkie and will find all the body parts. Following Shota's plan, they find all the other body parts except the head and one leg in a few nights. Everything is not reset here. Once the body part is found will remain in the same coffin. If they want to change other things, they can do so. One night Takhiro finds a red person's leg. But he gets badly injured then Atsushi takes her leg and keeps it in the coffin. The next day they all party because now they have to find only the head of red person. Atsushi has now become a friend of all five. Now they enjoy a lot together. They visit the same house where Miko was killed. They find a drawing made by Miko. Seeing it, they understand that Miko was closer to her doll Emily than her parents. Miko was mentally ill, so she did not go to school and she was treated by staying in this house. Miko used to consider Emily as her only friend. They find something wrong with a nearby wall, so they break it. Inside it, they find Emily, who is still covered with Miko's blood. The very next moment, Miko's spirit appears, and they got terrified and run away from there. That night when these people arrive for body search, they find through the shadow that Miko's spirit gone merged with her doll Emily and turned into a huge creature. After which they try to escape and in the haste, except Asuka and Ri, everyone else dies. After that, the creature eats Ri. Now Asuka is the only one left. During the escape, she falls down from the balcony and dies. The next day when Asuka goes to school, no one in the class remembers anything about Ri except Takhiro, Shoda, and Rumiko. Her name is not even on the student list. They understand that after being eaten by that creature, Ri's existence inside the real world has been erased. Asuka goes to the librarian and asks him about body search. He tells that he too has got trapped in this loop. As soon as this game is over, you will forget all your friends together with whom you must have played the body search game. But the librarian remembers this game because his friend had given him a book before the game was over, which he got many years after the end of school and then on seeing that book, he remembered that girl. Asuka gets sad hearing this because now she is going to lose her friends. In the evening, she informs Takiro about it. Then he gives her his batch so that later when Asuka sees it, she will remember everything. In the next scene, Everyone reaches the body search game. They think it is possible that the severed head will be inside the head of that creature. That's why they prepare to slit the creature's throat. Meanwhile, Takhiro understands why Miko's spirit chose them for the body search game. Because in reality, like Miko, these six students are also victims of loneliness. Here the creature represents loneliness. Everyone understands that instead of being sad, they have to fight their own loneliness. Only then that creature comes there with whom these people fight together. In this, except Asuka, everyone else dies. But due to the cutoff of the creature's head, Asuka takes Miko's head and puts it in a coffin. The next morning when Asuka reaches school, it is raining. Shota, Takhiro, Rumiko and Ri are back. Atsushi has also joined their class now. But nobody remembers anything. Asuka is on her way to the assembly, when the batch falls from her pocket. Takhiro sees it and remembers everything. Then he shows that batch to Asuka as well. Now she also remembers everything. In this way, both of them get back together. I am sure he will remind the remaining four people about his things. But this movie does not end here yet. In its post credit scene, when Asuka saw a well, from where many bloody hands emerge, the camera slowly goes down the well and focuses, where we see a torn newspaper. In the heading, it is written about Miko's death. Slowly, blood starts oozing on this newspaper. Miko's face changes with another girl. Who is her age eight years? Now Asuka's name is written there. 
She was killed near amusement park. This is the same amusement park that Asuka and Takahiro used to visit with their family in their childhood. They also have a conversation in the middle of the story where it has been discussed. But Asuka had silenced him. This loop is about to start again, and this time the red person will be Asuka. Just like some children were chosen to find Miko's body parts, and in the same way, some more children will be chosen, who will find Asuka's body parts. With this, the Remember Member movie ends here. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.